There's Lee here for Caravel Gaming with the uh, promised T6 run. Now, in the last video, I did forget to show you guys my uh, Paragon point. So, max at your movement speed, as usual, with everything. If you're familiar with Diablo, you'll know that one. Resting strength, offense, all important CDR, and resting critical strike. I'm going for life because I'm not quite happy with my life. I want to get it above 400k ideally. And resist all. Resource cost reduction and area damage. That's that out of the way. Let's let's go get the crap out of some stuff. You just pop your own. Your cooldowns come up so often, you just use them on cooldown. There's no point saving them. I mean, there is another way to get some even more speed in this build. You can uh, use Boon of the Horder. Gives you a speed boost every time you pick up gold at rank 25. You can see me absolutely kicking the crap out of these guys. I mean, a lot of the time I only stop to pick up legendaries, but I'm a little bit short on a, a little bit short on mats at the minute. I'm you know, re-rolling things a lot. I get those perfect stats. We've got a pile on here, so we're going to flick on our Nemesis Braces. Up on the bike one and uh, get some more loot for free. You see there's just tons and tons and tons of damage just bouncing off this guy. Don't know whether you guys have seen the, uh, the Adventureland gif up on Reddit. Where it's just a guy running through with his sword in the air. There's a goblin! But apparently that's what it feels like to play with this build, so... The other guys get a bit miffed because I keep running off. So we're a bit slow on our champion then, I nearly got squished. Because we're a little bit squishy without that champion up. Thankfully that's why we have it up all the time. So this, you'll see my health absolutely chunking down here because he's electrified. Unless we can use his walls to block a bit of that out, which is quite nice. Here's the plan going forward is... Uh, we do the Monk video and then the Demon Hunter video. Show you guys them. I'm missing a couple of bits of gear on those guys, but... Good enough to show you the general gist of things. Spider is creaming some guy there. And then I'm maybe streaming twice a week with the uh, with the bar project, which I'm not sorted out all the details quite yet in my head. But I think I'm gonna do. I've got a fresh bar. He's level 69 at the minute. Oh, this guy props are indomitable, well, indomitable, or even indestructible. And the idea I think will be is might, I'm trying to decide it's going to be a fresh start but I'm trying to decide whether I lay myself crafted gear and how many um, blood shards am I allowed to start with assuming I didn't get power leveled and I did you know, rifts and stuff to level up I was thinking about 200 but if you guys have another number in mind that you'd like to see let me know Puma might be tagging along for a bit of it. He's going to level a new character, I think. But I think we're uh, bullying him enough in WoW. I don't need to uh, drag him through. Goddamn shield. I don't think I need to drag him through some more Diablo. As you can see, this build, I mean, my gear's reasonable, but it's by no means perfect. And we are just chewing through all this very easily without without our defensive cooldown as well. If you guys like this vid, let me know. I'll do. I'll happily show you greater reference with the kind of the full serious build setup with a bane of the trap instead of lethal lightning. And then you've just got to figure out whether it's worth having a. 
Maybe the powerful, you can keep that buff up. You're moving fast enough. Otherwise, it might be worth sticking something else in there as well. Well, you'll see the slightly embarrassing moment in a minute when I finally get this Rift Guardian to spawn. So, as you can see, I have some casting condemns, just bouncing off all the other mobs. Lots of AoE. Like, speed is clear time. And that's how you get faster, it's just as important as damage. I do like Morata, I mean, it's a mini conduit. Smashes everything up if you do get the, uh, the move speed braces as well. So I do have a pair of, but they're unfortunately a dex roll. Which makes me sad. Uh, the other thing to note, because I'm, I'm not really following this myself, because it's just like a bit of an easy mode farming is you shouldn't really be spamming your condemns. You should be casting them as it comes off cooldown because you can trigger I think it's a 0.5 second global cooldown. I mean you actually lose DPS on it. Shouldn't really matter unless you're pushing the real high end riffs. See we're, we're quite lucky here. We got another pack as well. So we can bounce off this these packs to do more damage to the uh, Crusader King. Otherwise, the single down engine leaves a lot to be desired. Oh, Crusader's giving us his uh, Wrath regen, is the main reason he's here. But occasionally he'll jump in with a heal. As you can see, you're gonna stand in the middle of loads of crap because you know at the end of the day, you get blown up, doesn't matter, you'll live through it. You always all see away. Well, your uh, indestructibles up. So as you can see, there's the problem with reflect damage. We're taking a lot of pain. The reflect damage, look. Nice heal, appreciate it. The reflect damage and electrified. It's basically a nightmare setup, and we still kill it. So I definitely recommend this build to anyone. Who has, as it will say, altism? Really wants to get all those alts scared up. You're going to speed farm these, get more or less 100 blood shards at a time. Good half hour will get you your 500 blood shards, and you can just gamble them away. That's how I get up the monk and the demon hunter anyway. Which is why it'll be quite interesting to gear up the barbarian from scratch, I guess. You guys will be able to progress along with it and see me get through. Go on to T1. And then move the way up, so hopefully to T6, and then see how we can get in Great Rifts. Also, another thing I've been considering is if anyone's interested, mm, probably make a new guild, Carnival Gaming Guild, and don't mind boosting some people on some runs and stuff. Especially not if I'm streaming. So. Comment below, you know, let us know if you fancy a bit of that, guys. It is at 50% off at the minute. If you like your Blizzard games, you probably have quite a lot of fun with this. They fixed a lot of the problems that were previous in the game. And, yeah, you got the Crusader class now. It's a lot of fun. I think Crusader has three late game builds. You've got Shotgun and Condemn. And also the pony spam one. It's a pretty nice trigger, bro. It's a shame it's only uh, four enemies instead of six. I've got a six in the map. Well, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, you know anything that I haven't mentioned? You know, things needs mentioning or I don't know? Put it in the comments. I'll be happy to uh, pick up some new stuff. Thanks for watching and uh, see you later.